Hello, everyone. I have a friend with me today, Rabbi Chaim. Would you say hello to everybody, Rabbi Chaim? Oh, I'd love to. Hello, everybody. I like to say shalom, because, you know, shalom means hello, too. Yeah, that's great. I see that you brought a book. Yeah, Rabbi Allen, you know, it's Hanukkah. Hanukkah is my favorite holiday. And I brought a book here that I want to read to the boys and girls. It's called Like a Maccabee. And it's by Raymond A. Zwerin and Audrey Friedman Marcus. And I would like to read it. Can I read it, Rabbi Allen? I think that would be a great idea. Let's hear you read it. Long ago in the land of Israel, the Jewish people lived in peace. They celebrated their holidays happily. They enjoyed their special foods. And they came from far and near to worship at the beautiful temple in Jerusalem. But then something happened. The king of Syria wanted to change the way the Jews lived. His name was Antiochus. He wanted the Jews to stop celebrating their holidays. He wanted them to eat forbidden foods. He wanted them to bow down to idols and worship Greek gods. Antiochus sent his soldiers into Israel. They came to the little village of Modi'in. They set up idols and told the Jews to bow down to them. The people didn't know what to do. Then one old man named Mattathias stood up and said, We will not bow down to your idols. Whoever is for Torah, follow me. Mattathias and his five sons became the leaders of the people. They were known as the Maccabees. Being a Maccabee means doing what is right. The Maccabees knew that it was not right to bow down to idols. Do you know what is right? If you do, you're like a Maccabee. Being a Maccabee means being brave. Mattathias was brave. He would not do what the Syrian soldiers wanted. Are you brave? If you are, you're like a Maccabee. Being a Maccabee means being a leader. When no one else knew what to do, Mattathias became a leader. He showed the people what to do. Are you a leader? If you are, you are like a Maccabee. King Antiochus was very angry. The Jews must obey my order, he declared. My soldiers will teach them a lesson. The king sent his large army to attack Israel. His soldiers marched through small villages. They marched into towns. They even marched into the city of Jerusalem. There they entered the holy temple. They set up idols. They spilled out all the holy oil. The temple was no longer a place where Jews could worship. The oldest son of Mattathias was Judah. He called for war against the Syrians. Judah the Maccabee and his brothers led the fight with few weapons and few soldiers. The Jews were determined to win. They fought well, and they fought wisely. After three long years, they finally won. Being a Maccabee means being determined. The Maccabees worked hard for what they wanted. The Maccabees never gave up. Are you determined? If you are, you're like a Maccabee. Being a Maccabee means thinking before doing. The Maccabees defeated a larger army by pl
planning carefully before each battle. Do you plan carefully? If you do, you're like a Maccabee. Being a Maccabee means working together. A small group of Maccabees defeated Antiochus by working together. Do you work together with others? If you do, you're like a Maccabee. As soon as the war was over, the Maccabees led the people to the temple in Jerusalem. When they entered, they saw what damage the Syrians had done. Holy vessels lay broken and scattered all around. The temple had to be cleaned before the Jews could worship there. Everyone worked hard to make the temple beautiful again. With a little bit of oil, they lit the Ner Tamid, the eternal light. People say that these few drops of oil burned for eight days. They called it a miracle. Everyone said prayers of thanks to God. Being a Maccabee means helping to fix what's broken. The Maccabees helped fix the temple. Do you fix what's broken? If you do, you're like a Maccabee. Being a Maccabee mean, means bringing light and happiness to others. The Maccabees brought the light and happiness back into the temple. Do you bring light and happiness to others? If you do, you're like a Maccabee. Being a Maccabee means being thankful to God. The Maccabees were thankful for all of God's blessings. Are you thankful for all of your blessings? If you are, you're like a Maccabee. Each year we celebrate the holiday of Hanukkah and remember the Maccabees. For eight nights beginning on the 25th of Kislev, we say blessings, we light our Hanukkah, we sing songs about the Maccabees, we eat special foods, and we play dreidel. The Maccabees did what was right, they were brave, they were leaders, they were determined, they thought before they acted, they worked together, they helped fix what was broken, they brought light and happiness to this world. They were thankful to God. Are you like a Maccabee? Please rise, keep me right, and bless me to the highest heights with your miracle. Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kiddishanu b'mitzvotav, V'tzivanu l'hadlik ner, Shel chanukam. And then there's a special blessing that we say, Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Shasa nisim la avoteinu bayamihim ha 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 hem bahazman hazeh. With that blessing, we thank God for the miracle that occurred on that very first Hanukkah. On the first night of Hanukkah, we sing the Shehechianu. Only on that first night. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Shehechianu v'kiyamanu v'higianu l'hazman hazeh Well, I hope you have a joyous time celebrating Hanukkah. Until next time, this is Rabbi Allen at Temple Bethel, wishing you a happy Hanukkah.
Just living in a miracle, candles on my vehicle Eight nights, gonna shine invincible No longer be the visible, born through the struggle Keep on moving through all this hustle Head up, head down, through all of the bustle New York City wanna flex your muscle Look so down, look so puzzled Out around your fire through all the rubble Down to stumble and fall But my strength comes not from men at all Down to stumble and fall but